okay guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this case i'm going to be showing you how to fix some gradual build failures you know everybody want to see this when they build uh, a app especially for mobile you want to see succeed in seconds or so but in this studio i'm going to be showing you what you probably was doing wrong that made you to be getting some build failure now let's set up your unity or uh, sdk and jdk always make sure that you are using the installed with unity so make sure you tick that that's one of the issues that usually comes with uh you know gradual field or build field in unity sometimes when you're coming from android studio to unity you might be tempted to use your your in uh your android studio sdk and jdk well i did that also so don't feel guilty but i got some errors the way i got to work around this error was i used android studio sdk and jdk after trying to use the unity uh installed uh, sdk and jdk it didn't work out so i have to use android studio so and it worked but after some upgrade in my android studio i did some you know upgrade it stopped working i have to come back here and then set to let unity install for me most of the uh, big failures we get in, in unity when building for mobile especially is mostly associated with gradle now if you're having issue with gradle failure is it you know always make sure that you take here gradle installed with unity now if you're still having some gradual build failure or so now another possible way is you have to go to your file manager now when you go to your file manager and then under your hard disk here user go to the name of your laptop and then you see here right here got gradual you need to do is to delete all this delete it and then go back to your android studio yeah i'm not going to delete this one right now go back to your android uh, your sorry unity and then try to build again you're going to have a successful build well but the method i told you, i just showed you is it, gonna cost you over 300 mb of what of data or 400 mb worth of data also if you are maybe in a region that is not really you know you don't have that much of a network in your area or enough wi-fi also to do that it's another work around which i'm going to show you now when you go to that your gradle here go to your wrapper go to your disk go to you see you see a lot of gradle that is being installed here now the gradle that you are being used some of the time most of the time is the highest one which is let's say 6.11 now open it now when you if you're having a build failure for example when you try to open this it doesn't open up it shows you an error well what you could do is just press the delete button and delete this you delete this delete the zip file and delete this also now you go to your file your browser and go to gradle.com gradle.org and then you download the exact version of your gradle in my case it's 6.11 so when you go here you, yeah that's it when you download it completely then you come back and put it back here in this exact same folder now you go back to your Android Studio, your YouTube. Uh, sorry, I keep saying Android Studio. You go back to your Unity, and then you build. Well, Unity is going to download some stuff in background for you, and then you're going to have a successful build, of course. If I have an issue just like this, what you're going to do is go to your file manager. It says it doesn't have. You don't have. A, a repository so when you go to your file manager to your user uh, to your uh, computer name then go to your android dot android and then you create a dot repository file dot cfg and that's all okay some other times when you're trying to build uh, uh, your project and you have an error in your script you do get uh, some error while trying to build of course you're not going to build so you have to remove those errors before you build sometimes we don't really have errors but we have warnings 
something like when you, when you try to run a game it tells you that uh, the object of an instance is not yet uh you didn't instantiate the object before trying to use it or two those kind of errors can also cause you or prevent you from building your game so you try and fix those errors too now finally sometimes when you are trying to build your game or you, you try to build your your uh, version if your version sometimes is lower than the previous version you built it's not going to work sometimes it gets error you know sometimes unity is uh they don't really like they don't really like that so you have to increase your version here to my is not like 0 0.2 and that will do jokes fine also under your player setting in your project settings if you, you you if you already built your app and then you didn't put your key store your key store you didn't put it back your your project key store while trying to build if you have already built the app sometimes you do get errors and of course you need to be online to do that so why don't you put back your project key store your key store manager and then you do just that so generally a lot of things will probably stop you or prevent you from building uh, on mobile if you're having errors in your scripts uh, you know stuff like that to your gradual issue and the rest of them so just make sure you do it right do it the right way you're supposed to do it and of course the errors should clear and also if you're still having any more issue on your building your app mobile or anything just contact me and i'll tell you how you can go about it also make sure to check your console and your profile to know where the issue is thank you and now see you in the comment section and also like and subscribe